Don't get too settled in. It's not going to be that long. Good. Don't worry. Cut it off. Whee! Hello, darlings of the universe. I want to talk about the age of the physical body. And that's come up on this trip because how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? And I play back, how old do you think I am? How old do you think I am? Just say old enough. (laughs) Yeah. Old enough. And also I've heard on this trip that Abraham makes everyone look a lot younger than their physical body actually is. And so? Except with me and a few of the others. (laughs) Which I don't mind because I feel I'm maturely higher than the physical age that I am. So... A few of us have had our ages risen. The majority of the room have had their ages brought down. Now, is there a average age of the... We want to address this fully because while you're being serious about it and everyone's being a little bit playful about it, this is a topic that, as we come to some resolution about it, can be of enormous value to you because... Well, let's start with the reason that people are talking about age to begin with. So, it isn't really fair of us to ask you all to come here into your physical bodies and be born into all of this contrast and not be comparative in nature. Because the comparison is part of what helps you to focus and how you decide. And looking around is what helps you to know what you want and know what you don't want. And so, we certainly want you to be observant in that way. And the comparisons are helpful to that extent. But the consideration about age almost always is about limitation. It almost always is about what I should have accomplished or what I have accomplished or how I used to be or how I used to look or how I used to feel. In other words, most of the consideration that most humans have about age is not that helpful. Esther was having a conversation with herself about the subject a while back as she was enjoying so many of the young people in her life, her own grandchildren, the children of people who work with her, children of friends. So she's been around a lot of them lately and she is especially enjoying what humans want to call youthfulness that Esther wants to call alignment, a sort of not really caring. They are more carefree. The younger they are, the more carefree they seem to be. And so she had had a few days of being with several of them and she was enjoying their light approach to life. How they don't seem to want to get heavy into anything and they roll their eyes at their parents who are wanting to worry about this or wanting to worry about that, especially as it has to do with them. And so Esther was sort of taking all of that in and then she began making comments to people who were around her about how really jealous she was of these young kids in the sense of how much more time they still have in their bodies. Just little pangs of that because Esther is having as much fun as they are. And the idea that they get to have more fun. And so she was talking to us about it, knowing that she was getting wonky in her vibration about it, knowing that she was off about it. And so we took the example of her grandchildren and we said you know all that any of you have is right now now that's a phrase that you've heard so often that it's a cliche to you it doesn't really mean that much to you but we want you to know what we mean because in this now which is all any of you have you have the opportunity of being in alignment with the whole of you or not which means of being fully alive or not well If you could really feel what we mean when we say that, you would not be concerned about how much life had come before or about how much life in this physical body was coming after. You would only be aware of your excellent utilization of this moment in time as it revolves around your alignment to who you really are. And it sort of evens the playing field. It makes you all ageless. It makes you all nowers. It's now. How old are you now? 
No, you don't understand. How old are you now? But how many years have you lived now? They would lock you up. They would think you were sort of incapable of communicating. But we want that to be your answer now. How many years have you lived now? How long do you think you're going to live now? Because how long this now lasts is not relevant. It's how this now feels that is relevant. So, and the interesting thing about it is how this now feels has everything to do with how long this now lasts. In your joyful now, when you have full infusion, when you are fully in the receptive mode, and something else that is really significant to this conversation, any time that you are foolish enough to get trapped in a conversation, how old are you or how old do you think I am, you are just setting yourself up to find out how in the now any of them are. Because anyone who's talking about those kinds of things is not fully integrated with their inner being who is timeless that's just not a question that you ever ask in full connection to your source energy you might be asking how much fun are you having or how much do you love that or how much is your interest about this but there is never a limiting question ever being inspired by your inner being don't you like knowing that so is that Susie it is, yes. So are we done? Not quite. Yeah? <laughs> Did you like it? Do you yeah. believe it? Do you know it? Yes, definitely. And at the same time, people are saying to me, because I have been introduced to Abraham at such a young age, they then say to me, they're comparing themselves to me because I found Abraham at a younger age than what they did. Well, don't engage don't with him about that. Don't no. engage with him about that. In other words, because the most you can do is make them feel bad. Well, they're making themselves feel bad. Let's take this question broader. What do you do when someone wants to engage with you in a conversation, we sort of brushed on this earlier, that doesn't feel good to you and that you really do not believe will ultimately feel good to them? What do you do? Walk away. Change the subject. Change the subject or come into full alignment with who you are. Let's play this game just for a moment. So if someone asks you, give us some of the questions that they ask and we'll be you in perfect concert with your inner being. We will give you the inspired answers from your inner being. So you give us their dialogue or their questions and we'll give you what your inner being would say to them under those conditions. To think what I could have done if I had found Abraham at your age. Well, here we are standing here together and I don't see myself doing anything much more significant than you are. So aren't we kind of even in that regard? Yeah. That's it. And I believe that. I, I believe. It's sort of like, so imagine a really powerful muscle car, one of those really beautiful, powerful engines designed for quick speed and great speed. And it has been around for a while. It was birthed a few months ago and it has about 40,000, 50,000 miles on it and it's burned a lot of fuel. But the question in the moment of someone who is enjoying it is not how much fuel has been burned through this engine. The question that would be asked is what is the capability of this engine right now? Let me hear the sound of the engine. Let me feel the sound of the engine. Let me get behind the wheel of this vehicle. Let me feel what it is. You see what we're getting at? The comparison about anything other than how you are utilizing your power right now. How much torque do you have right now, which has to do with how in alignment with source you are right now. What is your capacity for pleasure right now, which is what is your alignment? And we're all in alignment with each other. So there is that sense of equality and otherwise we all wouldn't be we're all here what well, now so. brings equality to all now because everyone stands in the now you all have the same 24 hours in this day yep. you all have access to source energy which you are utilizing to various degrees it could not be more fair and then anybody can do whatever they want with the circumstances that they're choosing to focus on to pinch themselves off from the now or not. And that's what happens sometimes as people move through time is they use their age as their excuse to pinch themselves off from energy and alignment and clarity that would be there otherwise. It's yeah. not about how much time you've moved through. It's about what you are doing with the time that you are living now in this moment. Yeah. Enough? 
Yes. Really good Thank conversation. you. Good conversation.